do I prepare for a concert? Uh, I just, <laughs> I just go out there and hit it. <laughs> There's no preparation. You know, I do try to consider, like I've, this was my first time in Budapest. So I'm looking to try to exchange some of the cultures with the people, see what kind of food they're eating, where they're partying, what's going on, to try to have a connection with them, you know? It branches out to everybody. You know, my goal is not to just have one culture involved. I want Japanese people like, you know, I want people of Hungary, I want the people of the UK, people of Africa, everywhere to have experience. Music is to break the boundaries that keep us apart. <laughs> The whole story behind Phoenix, I can give a little bit of the story. It started from me being in a pretty bad car accident. So I was driving from a show and I don't know how it happened, but my car kind of fell off into the mountain. So I ended up breaking my jaw, three ribs, my scapula. Um, I had a brain bleed and it started from there. It started from, I heard sirens waking up and um, a guy was trying to drag me out of the car and I just woke up in a pool of blood. So that's the, the beginning of Phoenix. It, went, it started with uh, first, am I gonna live? <laughs> then it started with, will I play again? Then it started with, I'm gonna write some music. And then it keep, kept going and kept going. And now here we are, three Grammy nominations later, still figuring out what's next, you know? I think it's commonly interpreted that I have some kind of political message in my music, but I don't. My message in general was, I love everybody, to respect everybody, to be with everybody. So. The, the original message of my album wasn't that, but it's who I am. It's who I am to fight for whoever's not getting the justice they deserve. <laughs>